Okay, so Lydia joined our uh, workout group, our culture about, let's say, three weeks ago, something, two, three weeks ago yeah. ish. So, like, I have a question. What was your, like, main objection before you started? Like, when, let's say, your friend called you, like, I have this guy, you know, he's killing us on a daily basis. I want you to suffer. And you were like, what? You know, I thought it was going to be, like, not so intense. I've never done such intense workouts. I was like, yeah, you know, it's going to be fun. We're all in a group. After the first workout, I was sending videos to my friends. I was like, guys, this is a whole new level. This is advanced. I'm dying. I'm like, yeah. I don't think I've ever worked out this hard in my life. And I can't believe that I'm still doing it. Yeah. Yesterday's was, <laughs> was really like, wow. So um, you said that you, when, like, of course, when you work out, you have to complement it with a, uh, with um with nutrition right so what's like what's the biggest problem you're facing right now during like corona outbreak with the nutrition from the nutrition side honestly um for me it's that i just don't eat enough during this quarantine because it's like i'm just so busy doing something with work or school and then the more time you're at home i don't know it's like the less hungry i am but then when I'm out at school and doing everything, then I like want to snack a lot, but now I snack a lot less. So that's something I noticed. And it's like, I'm not having all three meals and it's not, yeah, like my calorie, I'm on a caloric deficit, so. I mean, look, to be honest, I wouldn't stress too much with like the whole cal calories things, like macronutrients, like how much protein, how much carbs, how much yeah. fats I'm eating. I should be focusing more like developing like eating habits. So you go from like step one, developing eating habits. Then maybe you go to like a meal prepping. And then maybe once you have more knowledge, you go to like, okay, I need to eat this amount of uh, calories. Then I need to focus more on protein in the morning, carbs around the workout, et cetera, et cetera. So like just, I would, I would like advise you just to go with a basic normal uh, eating habits like uh, you eat con like on small portions every few hours and uh, of course if let's for example you can overload on veggies you will never you can never you can you cannot get fat from veggies it's like almost impossible get enough of veggies vitamins exactly true. other troubles you found uh, about your nutrition especially like when you're working out and uh, what are the main issues for you with the nutrition side for me, it was like when I was first working out at the beginning of the year, I reduced my carb intake and I actually did see a difference. And then now, like, I still have less carbs, but then it's like, do I completely cut out carbs? Do I still eat it? Like, it's just, it's, it's a lot to take in. And I'm reading so much about nutrition and everyone says something completely different and it's way too much information that it's just like, and it's so hard to get all my proteins in. Like, protein life is an expensive life, so... True that, I can agree with that. But, like, I would, I would pick up, like, one or two sources and then uh, definitely go just with those people who are uh, explaining the nutrition because there are so many different contradictory studies that you don't know where you are. So I would definitely pick one or two people, focus on them, what they say, try it out, try, try and fail. And if you know, then uh, you can always reach out because you are in our group. Do you agree with this statement I found uh, recently online that the food intake um, and alcohol intake went up by around 600% during the corona outbreak? Yeah, of course, I'm not surprised. I'm forcing, I'm not buying any alcohol, but I mean, sometimes, because you're home every day, you can wake up at whatever time you want. Of course, who doesn't like a glass of wine right before bed? Yeah, but so, like, I, I, I would I would keep a structure. Uh, I would definitely keep a, some kind of a structure, uh, definitely during your during your day, because then you can um, kind of keep your habits uh, on point, and of course you're not uh, overload on food. And uh, as long as you are active, I think that also keep you a little bit sane during these hard times. And so far, but you know the good thing about quarantine though is I'm like you start cooking more at home, obviously because you can't order out anymore. So I'm just. Baking my own bread, like Janine said, like <laughs> iron bread. <laughs> soon, making so many, like just trying out all of these desserts. So okay, it's, it's a good thing after all. Like you would say, oh my God, if I wish I knew this now, I wish I knew well, I knew it. 
Yeah, well, for me, it was really more about carbs and fats that you had to completely cut out all carbs and all fat, but those things actually give you energy, so you do need a certain amount of it. Because there were times <laughs> I was like, I want to completely cut out these things from my diet, but then, like, yeah, you... Why did you want to cut them out? Cut, cut them out? Like, what, what made you? Cut them out. Because I want to, that's the thing. So whenever I'm searching for things, you also have to be really particular about what you type. Because I'm like, yeah, to lose weight. But actually, that's not what I want to do. It's to lose fat percentage, which are two completely different things. So then okay. I get a whole different answer. And then it's like, you just have to reduce your fat intake and everything. But Like, I would, I would mostly focus, as I said, uh, and we also had that talk with Janine in the morning, that more you develop your habits and you think, and you think more like for a delayed gratification and the longer game, the infinite game, that you just get better and better every month and you think of a slow process and then after, let's say, a year, you're going to see, oh my God, I did so much. Yeah, instead, of, instead of going, okay, I'll restrict myself from all the carbs, all the fats or whatever it takes for me to get lean, And then after four months, you, you see yourself, okay, now I did three months of hard dieting, and now what? Yeah, I'll start to... eating again. Like yeah. yo-yo effect. It's not sustainable. You need to build like sustainable habits, which we try to build in our, in our culture. And uh, it's, yeah. it, it, it just takes time. It just takes time. Yeah, but it's like 80% is food and 20% working yeah. out. So... I, would say more, I would say more 50-50. Well, with What? you, it's definitely 50-50. With your <laughs> I think it's down. <laughs> yeah, how, mu how much calories you burned last, last training yesterday? Around 600 in about 50 minutes, 600. huh? 620. 620 in 50 minutes, huh? 50 minutes. That's amazing. That's amazing. Even I couldn't believe it. My heart rate, the highest it went up to was 175 or 180. Yeah. It was a high point. Especially. It was killer, man. Like, no breaks. How could you? How could you? Yeah. How is, like, how do you overall feel after, let's say, three weeks of uh, the training with it? How are you feeling, like, more? Yeah, I, could, uh, I, could, I could see the difference that I can actually do them, you know? Because the first few workouts is like, oh, I'm so tired. I can't. So I would stop or, like, just not do it properly. But then now it's like, because it's like per second, it's like 40 second workout and then 20 second rest. With that 40 second workout, it's not like do eight push ups, but it's more like do whatever push ups you can so I get my form straight. Because that's, yeah, that's what I need to fix that's, is form. Yeah. What did you learn about yourself during these workouts? What's the one thing you learn about yourself? Yeah, maybe that I should. Yeah. That's yeah. a good question, though, huh? It's a good question. It's tricky, tricky. What did I learn? <laughs> that I can actually do it, you know, because it's like, even yesterday, like, I just wanted to just switch off Wi-Fi and say, oh, I'm sorry, my Wi-Fi <laughs> died. It's like, I always want to quit, but then it's like, yeah, and I just felt a lot more comfortable, even with the way I'm eating. Like, I don't think too much about it because I know I'm working out so much. So it's like I actually do need food for this energy. Of course. So it, yeah. <laughs> We just share so, recipes with each other. We both yeah. of us only eat two things in the morning. Like we alternate between two things, which is our oat, banana oatmeal pancakes and eggs. Matt, these <laughs> are the only two things I eat for breakfast since the past two months. How come? Also, How come? I don't know. I just don't have time or any inspiration it's just like i love these two meals so much that i don't want to eat anything else i wouldn't say that uh, that's wrong if you feel like it depends how much and what you put in uh i would just like i would just kind of develop this routine in the morning as well that's i think is almost cr critically important just like you know what you're doing every single morning and it kind of sets you up for the whole day Um, especially uh, like morning routines, like mobility stuff, et cetera, et cetera, and it comes up to breakfast. And then from breakfast, you're ready to go. Sometimes, yeah. you, have to, sometimes uh, you have to wake up a little bit earlier to set everything properly, and then you can go. Uh, like what, what, was the, 
what was your first experience with with training how was how was that first oh, experience with training honestly i felt like yesterday's training because i also lost like 600 calories and i was i think i just was on the floor for like 10 minutes sweat dripping in sweat and then i was like calling junia i couldn't even talk to her i was like chenin what did you sign me up to <laughs> and then you sent me the link for the next workout i was like you know i'm a little bit busy i have things to do and then you were like yeah don't make excuses you know like you need to take a break it's quarantine i was like i hate how he's so right and i have to join i'm like but and yesterday i think yet last week yes last to show you our screen time <laughs> because there are two things that i hate in uh in life there's wasted potential yeah. and second is wasted time oh it's so bad it's i'm so embarrassed to even say it but it's... what what did you waste time on what is the most like what's, what do you waste time on social media or what what are you wasting on yeah i think it was a lot on instagram and facebook because of recipes because of it's recipes so you're telling me you're spending 4 hours per day like on recipes I wouldn't say so. Seven and a half to eight. How? What's your screen time? Seven and a half to eight? Dear God, we definitely need to build just, some habits. No, but not only on social media it was on other things as well. But yeah, Jay, it was like it's really bad. But it was like seven and a half hours per day. It's so bad. So I I changed it. I limited myself. So every day from ten to four, I'm not allowed to use certain apps. like my okay. app or anything so 10 to 4 is long yeah 10 to 4 for you using for 8 hours it's a little bit long i would say so yeah, for right? sure for sure it's not an, it's not a small amount of time <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah i mean look to be honest like with all of these things i mean you if you build habits as as well with your screen time thing and um you just manage your time better and then you will find time to enjoy other things like there are just a little bit of priorities you need to set up and i think right now everybody has too much time that's why i think structured your structuring your day it's critically important for me um yeah, working yeah. on my phone and that's why i'm also working on my phone sometimes i do emails on my phone and The thing is, you know, are you always end up making excuses like what I'm doing it's like yeah, I'm on my phone, but it's because like yeah, I don't know, I'm using the Bible app or that I'm watching videos like for recipes and everything or doing certain research, so it's like I'm just low key making excuses. But... Yeah, but you should like as long as you now you acknowledge it what is the problem now, you just need to fix it. It's halfway done, but yeah. I mean, look, I'm uh I'm like definitely yeah. I think that once once this quarantine is going to be done and if you stick with your n- nutrition I'm definitely going to help you with that it's uh, and you just keep it a little bit easier on your mind and uh that should be fine uh, I think calorie wise you should go a little bit easy on that just focus on building yeah. habits as we said and and I and I love the thing that I love the fact that you like to cook that that's good because home cooked meals and uh, are very good um the pet and uh, also you build habits of cooking which a lot of people right now either uh, don't want to or don't have time to i mean if you have so much time it's like i have nothing to do so i literally cook full meals every day that's why i don't like to meal prep because then it's like yeah then i have nothing to do for the day so it's like cooking actually just keeps me busy okay, but, but you me. think you would be able to move these uh, habits when the quarantine is done no of cooking no. then i don't have time so but then it's have... already some vacation so then i would have the time but from september onwards okay so you yeah. would definitely so you definitely uh definitely do something because i think the the food as we said it's not 80% it's more like 50 50 you cannot train if you don't eat properly and if you train and if you train properly and you don't eat like it doesn't make sense right so you have to complement one thing with a, with another like But, what was the like if you had someone to tell them something about our uh, the trainings we're doing how would you present it like in like okay. short short four sentences like i am i, lo- I hate you a little bit so i'm going to put you in this killer group 
which transforms people and builds habits and makes you even greater than ever but not gonna be not gonna Honestly, be so much fun they're intense but i think i just really like it that we're all working together like as a group and you know it's like you see other people struggle and it's like okay i'm not the only one you know we're in this together and then you're seeing you do it as well is like a little bit motivating and then you pushing us but it's super intense you will sweat it out you will regret it in the moment you know you'll be like oh i wish i wasn't here but then after you will feel that's amazing. feeling after huh the feeling that's after feeling after so worth it it goes on for days like i still feel so good about yesterday and then it kind of makes me excited for today's workout as well okay and i also don't okay. join it but then to some extent i want that feeling back that is worth it to go for for one hour you know and it's like you so you start to see yourself get stronger like i could not do push ups like honestly i could not do push ups i still can't do them i can't go super low but i mean getting closer huh push ups yeah it's i'm getting there but that's the whole like the progress like you see in the small things okay i'm gonna i'm a little bit closer to a push up so for someone push up is it, a big thing and then you move with the small small things you build the momentum and then from momentum the come the big things are coming because nobody loses weight like this right or gets better shape or builds better habits or are you already supposed to see results after after 3 uh, weeks yeah or a month uh you can ask your friend uh, Janine so basically we changed something um and in 3 weeks she I think she lost 3.5 to kilos or something like that oh. it's different for some people but we're not going to quick uh results and quick things to fix we just wanted to build habits so we when it's sustainable you're going to build it so you might important to build habits so after uh, on the, on the long term you definitely feel better move better and live better and of course you have results that's why we're here we're not here to to talk to each other for one hour without any results right so we definitely want to uh, impact we want to inspire and that's it that's that's how we build our community that's how we want to so you with your results you become someone who s- speaks for the results we have and also impact other people with the new mindset like like Janine told she's thinking in a new way and i hope because once you get fit the the things the things you're doing in your life will also improve you will work harder you have you think differently your focus you will be more focused and all the things that matter and i think even if you get fitter and in you have more energy and you feel better also your uh, school and college uh, will definitely have an you uh, your health will have you an impact on that more, as yeah. well i think you also see it less and, as like a pain yeah. or like chore or something and you just want to do it but is there a thing like because with your workouts it's like 3 days a week right it's like ish. three yeah it's like three to four times ish depends on the schedule um yeah, yeah but uh, that's during the corona time but otherwise we are developing right now um uh, coming on um, we're developing a big project it's a website and then it will go through an app so you have guided training for every single day including zoom workouts including nutrition including f- uh, habit stretching including full coaching Damn. everything coming up is coming up very soon so it will be available for all over the world um it will be a very good structure and uh it's going to have killer workouts on demand uh, videos i mean there will be no excuse for you not to train that's the main important that's the thing uh, look as as you said daily daily discipline or daily routine of even if we doing yeah. the push ups or something just to keep your your day structured in a way that you still feel that this corona thing didn't took away uh, too much of your of your day and then because if you don't have any structure the day gets long the all the days get the same and now you're like oh my god i'm 30 days at home and i'm no, i'm losing my mind easy. right but if you have some structure then it's a little bit easier you know what you have to do so i always i always speak about like daily discipline weekly focus uh yeah. then over the four weeks of what you're doing then you see at the end of the month what you did what you should improve on the strategy should be different and and uh, etc etc so the whole thing should be structured 
And that's what I'm bringing also to you guys, some structure in your life of working out and eating. So then it will improve the, all the other areas of your life. Yeah. And because normally with your workouts, it's like I, if it's like three days a week and then every alternate day, I would go for a run. So then, then we, when we would have our next workout, it's like, you know, I'm the only one who went for a run. Like, I think I'm allowed to skip this workout. Like, so. No. That's what I was Consistency thinking. Consistency is key. Too much. Look, it's about, it's about your own feeling. So, um, depends how your body feels. You're, you're, you feel yourself the best. So, you know yourself the best. Uh, I would definitely give enough rest. But uh, if you feel like you can go for an easy run, for active rest, or for even for a walk, I would go for it. I wouldn't stress too much about it. If you're mm -hmm. tired, you just take a break. Um, because we are training on a, on a, for, let's say, more for a general population where we want to have, uh, feel good, we want to look good. We're not training for any big competition now. Okay, yeah. by June, I have to be this and that. So you also need to listen to your body and accordingly act with the nutrition and uh training so lydia okay. thank you for joining in today so that was the coaching hub episode number two with lydia we spoke a little bit about nutrition about habits about cooking and many